Good afternoon YouTube. So this is my Breville Barista Express coffee machine and I've made quite a few videos about this machine over the last few years and I've got a lot of questions from viewers of those videos so I thought I would answer a number of those because today I've got to do a major service on the machine and one of those questions is what the heck is that magnet doing there? So for the short answer, this magnet is simply a reminder mechanism that I came up with. If you want the longer answer, let me go into a little more detail. Just before I purchased it, I owned a Krups pump-driven espresso-only machine. It didn't have, for instance, the Clean Me light or any cleaning cycle built into it. And I think the only instructions it had in the manual was every few months you were supposed to run a tank of white vinegar through the machine to descale it. started out doing that pretty regular and then it got less and less regular as the years went by and I forget if I used to write it down in a calendar or what I did but it was always hard to maintain that machine regularly and it quit working one day and I think it was because I didn't take care of it. So one thing I really liked about this machine was that this Clean Me light here and that it had this cleaning reminder system built in. And when I got this machine, I thought, oh, cool, it'll tell me exactly what to do all the time. And after I got the machine and started using it and reading through the instruction booklet here, here's the cleaning, care and cleaning, there's a water filter, there's a cleaning cycle, there's decalcifying or descaling, and cleaning the grinder, and cleaning the steam wand, cleaning... <laughs> there was a lot of stuff to do here. I quickly noticed that this cleaning maintenance procedure could become very complicated, and I didn't want this machine to fall into the situation of my previous machine. And I found that the Clean Me light only dealt with this the cleaning cycle, but you still had the decalcifying or descaling cycle, which you do either with vinegar or I've been using the Descal citric acid powder. And then you also have your water filter that goes into the water tank back there. On my machine, with my usage schedule, this light comes on about every two weeks, roughly. And so let me show you what I came up with. So this is kind of my little maintenance schedule. So over here, you have the Clean Me light comes on. So that's a two-week cycle. The light comes on. You run the cleaning tablet through. The light goes off. Two weeks later, light comes on. Cleaning cycle. The light goes off two weeks later, two weeks later, and then the descaling you're supposed to do about once every month, which is about every other cleaning cycle. One month you do the descaling, another month you do the descaling, and then your water filter is about every two months. If you think about this as you've got a brand new machine, two weeks later you run the cleaning cycle, two weeks later you do the descaling and then the cleaning cycle, and then two weeks later you do another cleaning cycle, and finally on the last two weeks you change the water filter, you do a descaling, and then you do the clean cycle. And I always just do the cleaning cycle at the end because the cleaning cycle is what turns off the clean me light. And that's what this magnet does. So here's my magnet, number one, number two, number three, and number four. The way I use this magnet is, so here's my magnet on the side. I'm on the number four position. I turn the machine on, the clean me light came on. So I just rotate at 90 degrees, and whatever number is up is what I do. The water tank has this number dial, which tells you when to replace the water filter that's in the bottom there. And you can see this one is on number 11, and it happens to be November 2nd today. This dial does work pretty well. After I change the filter, I'll change it two months forward, so it's on number uh, 1. So it says, sometime in January, I need to change this filter out. 
And before I do the descaling, I like to remove the filter. So yeah, you take the old filter out. The other thing you should probably do is check this screen here. That can get plugged up with dirt and block your water flow. So that's a good thing to check. And I'll just put that back in there. And then I've got my quart of Descal that I mixed up here. So there we go. I've got my descaling solution. And then I just have my regular single wall filter basket in there. And to do the descaling, I just hit the one cup button and hold it down until it starts flashing. And then it'll run a cycle of descaling liquid through there. So for the descaling cycle, what I like to do is let the machine sit with that hot descaling liquid in the plumbing inside. Let it sit for maybe five or ten minutes. And then I'll run another cycle of hot water through there. And then I'll alternate by switching the steam wand and the hot water with the manual valve on the side. So I'll just alternate through those. Two reasons for doing that. One is letting the descaling liquid dissolve any calcium or lime deposits that are inside the thermal coil or any of the piping. And then the second reason is the water pump in these machines is rated at two minutes on time and then one minute off time. And you can see when you hit the constant flow here, this thing runs for close to a minute. You need to give the water pump time to cool down because it's not a 100% duty cycle pump. So I just let this sit here for a few minutes and then I'll run another hot water cycle. Then I'll run the steam wand and the hot water valve. Just alternate through those and you keep doing that until your descaling solution is empty. So let me come back at the end of that. So yeah, I've just finished the descaling. You can see the tank over there is empty. So one question I get asked a lot with these videos is how come the clean me light is on? Isn't the clean me light supposed to go off after you run the descaling cycle with your descaling solution? And the answer is no. The clean me light goes off when you run the cleaning cycle. And that's when you put the cleaning disc. So you've got this rubber disc that goes into one of the single cup filter baskets. This is what turns off the clean me light. Okay, and now since we're on number one, I finished the descaling cycle. I need to change the water filter and then run the cleaning cycle. So for descaling, I'll keep my single wall double cup basket in there. This is the basket I use almost all the time. So I figure while I'm descaling the machine, I'm also cleaning out this filter basket. And then I keep the cleaning disc, this rubber disc, in one of the single cup baskets and I'll use that for cleaning. So I have to swap filter baskets and you need to let the machine cool down for a few minutes before you run the cleaning cycle after you've done the descaling. So you can see here I've emptied the tank once, I filled it up a second time and before I put it back in the machine I need to change out the water filter so I had removed the old filter prior to starting the descaling here. And then I've got a new filter here ready to go. I soaked this in some water for a few minutes. You put that in there and click your filter in. And I've already advanced this two months. So I'll put that in the tank. I've got the tank full of water. And so to do the cleaning cycle, hold down the one and two cup buttons and then press the power button until it starts flashing. And that's how you then turn off the clean me light. So I do this at the very end. See now the clean me light is flashing. It's running through the cycle. So you can see, I think it just runs the regular espresso cycle. So there's the drain valve and then this is the brew. See, it's just cycling between the espresso valve and that's the drain valve. It just It's just like running short cycles. And you can see definitely how dirty the first cleaning solution is. It's back flushing all the internal plumbing there. And that's one reason I don't clean the outside of the machine until after I finish this. Because sometimes when this 
is running the uh, cleaning cycle, it splashes suds and, and that dirty water all over the outside of the machine. Sometimes it does it, sometimes it doesn't, but I figure just wait until it finishes and then wipe the machine down. So I'll come back when this is finished and we can see what it looks like. Okay, there's the cleaning cycle finished, and now you can see the clean me light is turned off. So again, not saying that you have to use this. My idea with doing this is this extends the function of that clean me light. Every time this light comes on, I rotate this thing 90 degrees, and then whatever number is on top, that tells me what I need to do. You know, this probably sounds more confusing to try to explain it, then once you get used to this, I just know exactly what to do. If I turn it up to number two, I just do cleaning. So for me, if this light comes on, and then I've got to go find this book and figure out where, you know, what page, where am I here, what am I doing, i got to look back in the calendar, and if I have to try to figure out what I need to do, chances are I might not follow through and do that, but this magnet sits right here on the machine and it tells me exactly what I need to do, one, two, three, four, based on that light. And the other reason I like this light is it's driven by usage. So if you use the machine a lot, this light will come on more frequently. If you use it less, say you go on vacation for two weeks or a week, this light won't come on until you get back. So I hope that answers some of the questions on this as far as my general maintenance cycle. I like my little magnetic reminder. Strictly a reminder tells me where I am in the cycle. What do I need to do next? I always do the cleaning last so that the clean me light gets reset when I finish the cleaning cycle. This is the remainder of the cleaning solution. So I like to use this to wipe down the outside of the machine. Just slide that back there. I put those away. They're ready for next time. And so yeah, I'm just going to wipe down the machine and it'll be good for another couple of weeks. Yes, yeah, so if you have any other questions, go ahead and post up in the comments section below. So I'll put some of the other coffee machine videos over here on the left side. And as always, thanks for watching.